Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of mathematical economics. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to uh, talk about the number system. So I'm going to discuss the meaning of number system and various types of numbers. In the first part, I have introduced the subject of mathematical economics. You can find videos on economics, econometrics, SPSS, RStudio and statistics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Let's begin with the idea of number system. So a number is a mathematical value used for counting and measuring objects and for performing arithmetic calculations. So number system is a method of representing numbers on the number line with the help of a set of symbols or rules. So we know that uh, in uh, cardinal approach of utility analysis, we assign numbers that how much utility we are deriving from a particular commodity. Right. So we are measuring utility through numbers and therefore it is known as cardinal approach. So these symbols range from zero to nine and are termed as digits. See this uh, number line. We have zero on right sides. So we have positive numbers. So one, two, three up to infinity. And on left sides, we have negative numbers. So minus one, minus two, minus three up to minus infinity. Now let's understand the types of numbers. So first column shows the types, second column uh, depicts the description and third column shows the series. So first we have, we have natural numbers. These numbers are also known as positive numbers. So you can see the series, it starts from one. So one, two, three, four up to infinity. Then we have whole numbers. So whole numbers uh, includes zero and natural numbers. So you can uh, see the series, the whole number starts from zero. So therefore we have zero, one, two, three, four, five up to infinity. Then we have negative numbers. So negative numbers are negative counterparts of our positive numbers. So it ranges from minus one to minus infinity. So minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four up to minus infinity. Then we have integers. So integers include all negative numbers, zero and positive numbers. So the range of the integers is minus infinity to plus infinity. Then we have fractional numbers. So fractions are the numbers that are returned in the form of P upon Q, that is ratio. So we have negative fraction numbers and positive fractional numbers. So we have minus three upon four or minus one upon four or two upon five or seven upon two. So here we are writing numbers in the form of P upon Q and we assume that Q is not equal to zero because if Q is equal to zero, then it becomes infinity. Then we have rational numbers. So rational number includes a set of negative fractions, positive fractions and integers. So we also have minus three, minus one upon two, we have zero. We also have positive uh, numbers one, two and three and positive fractional numbers. Then we have irrational numbers. So a number is called irrational if it cannot be written in the form of P upon Q, if it cannot be written in the form of ratio. So you can see root two, root five, pi. These numbers cannot be written in the form of P upon Q and therefore they are irrational numbers. And then we have real numbers. So real number includes all rational and irrational numbers. So all above mentioned uh, numbers, natural numbers, whole numbers, negative numbers, integers, fractional numbers, uh, rational numbers, irrational numbers are included in real numbers. So I have discussed the meaning of number system and types of uh, numbers. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.